time is up. Oh, let us start. Uh, we are Zi Hao Rao, Hu Xinzang, Wan Qiyang, and uh, Jerry Tan from Alibaba Cloud and Dao Cloud. Uh, today, we uh, support of uh, community governance and technical committee members. Uh, we are pleased to introduce something uh, latest program in the past several months uh, in hotel community. Uh, yeah, we will expand our talk from following two parts. Part one, hotel community update in 2024. Uh, uh, part two, and cloud vendors journey with hotel adoption. Uh, I will introduce something in part one, and the, the rest are given to my uh, partners. Uh, before starting introduction, let me do a small survey. How many of you have used over telemetry before? Please raise your hand. Okay, cool, thank you. Uh, just like the picture show here, over telemetry is an observability framework and a toolkit designed to create and manage telemetry data such as trace, metrics, logs, and profiles. Uh, the major goal of over telemetry is that you can easily instrument your application or system, no matter their language, infrastructure, or runtime, uh, or runtime environment. Just like the picture show here, uh, we provide different language uh, SDK or instrumentation to help us to achieve this goal. Uh, last but not least, Hotel uh, is a um, vendor and tool agnostic, means it can be used with a broad variety of observability backends include open source tool as well as some commercial offerings. After a brief introduction of, of telemetry, uh, when talking about the latest program, without doubt, the first part is profiling, uh, because the relevant fear has uh, accelerated uh, significantly in the past several months. Profiling is a technical to dynamically inspect the behavior and the performance of our application code at runtime. Just like the picture show here, we can see some, uh, there are some uh, spikers of CPU and memory usage. With profiling, we can get relative uh, stack trace and know what happened in them. Uh, what's more, uh, due to the limitation of uh, trace, uh, we can see there is a uh, a monetary black spots. Uh, with profiling, we can get a related uh, stack trace and know what happened uh, about the black uh, spot. Uh, after brief introduction of profiling, let's uh, see what happened in profiling in the several months. Uh, from discussion commands in 2022, uh, the relative fear has uh, Accelerate significantly in the past several months. On February, OTL profiling uh, seek introduced profiling data model version two. Uh, in March, uh, in addition to trace metrics and the logs, uh, the community announced of, uh, of official support for profiles by merging a profiling data model. Uh, in June, community accept elastic. A donation of its continued profiling agent. It becomes the first APPF profiling agent in hotel. Uh, apart from profiling, there are a lot of things has happened in uh, Java agent and uh, SDK. Uh, first, uh, in the early of this year, we released a two version. It fixed a lot of potential issue and make it more stable. Uh, second, we also support some new framework. The total amount of framework is increased from 124 to 133. Especially some of them are widely used in China, such as XSL Job, Apache Senyu, Apache Jui, and MyBetis. Uh, let's see, uh, there are something we are concentrating on uh, in the future. Uh, first, uh, for some library or uh, framework, they uh, come from a uh, stable semantic convention. Uh, we are planning to implement them by native instrumentation with related communities. Uh, third, we also uh, want to uh, immigrate some uh, framework or library from current 
implementation to indeed implementation. Uh, it can help us to set some breakpoint and uh, debug our uh, code easily. Uh, last but not least, we are also adapting and supporting OTL profiling. Uh, there is also a discussion about implementing O2 instrumentation on the GraalVM. Yeah, they are all I want to introduce today. Let's our uh, partner, Jerry, to introduce something about OTL Collector. Uh, thanks, Zhao. My name is Jared, and I work at Dark Cloud. And I'm also contributing OTL Collector Contribute and uh, OTL Home Charts project. Next, I will share with you the latest updates of OTL Collector. But before that, uh, Let's start with an introduction to OTA Collector. A collector is an important uh, component of OTL. It offers a vendor agnostic implementation of how to receive, process, and uh, expo export telemetry data. Here's an, here's an architecture diagram of OTA Collector uh, that explains us how exactly get, uh, everything works. As you can see, you have your service uh, that's installed OTA SDK. Uh, OTEL, is, OTEL, OTEL provides instrumentation libraries or, and the SDKs uh, for instrument, instrumenting various varo, programming, langu programming languages and uh, frameworks. As you can see, you have your service as, that installed uh, OTEL, uh, OTEL SDK or instrumentation. Those libraries produce metrics, traces, and uh, logs uh, in a vendor natural standard format that can be forwarded to the um, OTEL collector. Uh, telemetry data is, is received by different receivers, then processed by uh, processors, and finally dis will be distributed to any, any place and any destination you want to, like Yaga, uh, Vendor, or some databases. As a device, we know as a devices and uh, sensors, they, they, they uh, proliferate and we shift from the monolithic uh, applications to more granular microservices, uh, containers and the service functions and more. So we have more, we have more, more and more telemetry data we have to collect. Uh, except the storage being a challenge, uh, the telemetry data, data across the internet transport will also be a challenge. Uh, under new, con under, new con under con discussion and the contributions over two years from F5 and the ServiceNow team, now we have a new solution to optimize this. Compared with the current uh, OTLP using standard compression, the new solution is improved uh, by about 14% uh, and this integration facilities a re reduction 10 times in terms of data traffic. Uh, more and more t organizations and uh, users are around the world are really on uh, OTL as a part of the observability to kids, and it's, uh, it's an project, it's an responsibility of proje project code, project to ensure project code is safe, secure, and performant in conjunction with active and uh, uh, security. Security SAIG recently engaged upon uh, security audit of all of the collector and uh, uh, Java, uh, Golang, C Sharp, and Python SDK. According to the according to the report. Uh, the results of the po uh, audit, secu security audits uh, are very positive, and the auditors noting that the project is following the high quality uh, of source code and the security best practice. If you are interested in more details, you can find the link. You can find the link and the detailed audit report on the OTL community blog. In the next six months, uh, the the were two. Two C were fixed and uh, 15 times versions bump up. Uh, during this period, more than 27 uh, new plugins have been contributed by the community, and in, a, in, in addition to new plugins, bugs, were, bugs, bugs also have been fixed and, uh, and enhanced to, to more than 19 existing plugins. There were, there were three plugins that were no longer maintained, and um, unsuccessful attempts to reach the maintainers. It, the communities decide to uh, deprecate and remove the next one. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, thanks, Hot and Jerry, for sharing. I'm Wan Xia. I'm here to provide an update on the Open Telemetry official website. Uh, to support developers across different regions and address the need for documentation in multiple languages. The Chinese version of the official documentation has been launched in the official website. You can find links here to visit the GitHub web poll and the official documentation. Uh, to further enhance the uh, localization, the community is currently focusing on localizing the stable content of open telemetry. The uh, other frequently used sections are now available only in English for now. And Developers interested in uh, and developers interested in contributor can also uh, join in the discussion on Slack, and the community also provides some helpful tips and blogs to the com uh, to those who are looking to contribute to the community. In addition to Chinese, uh, the community also provides some uh, official website in Portuguese, Japanese, and Spanish. And oh, sorry, um, oh, well, uh, and. Oh, well, uh, this is the update to the uh, Open Telemetry official documentation. Now, uh, Hu Xin will share uh, the cloud weather journals to, uh, with hotel adoption. Oh, thanks, uh, Wan Qi. And it's very cold, it's very cold in this room. And uh, I hope every, after finish this talk, you can get a warm up. <laughs> My name is Hu Xin from Alibaba Cloud. I work uh, in the observability team. So uh, let me briefly introduce the Alibaba's journey towards the open telemetry. So in 2013, we have built our first observer observability platform uh, within Alibaba Cloud. And, and it's mainly focused on the tracing and metrics, and it turns out very helpful and uh, useful for the developers. But uh, actually, it's not, it's not open source, right? So at that time, and uh, we use manual instrumentation uh, for that. And in 2017, uh, we uh, Alibaba Cloud has uh, published the uh, first uh, monitoring service, the application real-time monitoring service in cloud. And at that time, we think that auto instrumentation is very important for the users because it will dramatically reduce the cost for them to get uh, generated telemetry data. So we have built a, a new auto instru instrumentation for Java uh, based on an open source project called Pinpoint. Uh, I think uh, in 2019, uh, the open telemetry project has been initiated initiated and um, a lot of uh, vendors and the companies has started participating to this project and this makes it evolves very fast and it quickly become the de facto standard of generating telemetry data so uh, we have a lot of uh, customers have uh, adopted uh, OTL and they ask us to provide the support for that so we, in 1921 we have uh, launched the management service for telemetry at that time. And there were another benefit for us, it provides multiple language support. Uh, at that time, we used to provide our language instrumentation, but it's turned out a lot of effort for us to maintain it. But at that time, we decided that we, why not we choose to op embrace the open source uh, open telemetry project. So um, in 2023, uh, the hotel has become a higher, more higher priority for us. So we started to uh, more adopt the hotel project, including we have uh, our build our hotel instrumentations. So we have our work with our cloud service to have hotel natively supported, as well as the community uh, engagement. And I will elaborate in a couple of slides. So why do we have the OTL distributions? I think the key idea behind is we uh, there is the mind shift for us. 
And OTL has really become very important. It has changed the way we build the OTL platform, uh, uh, observability platform. And everything we have done before, we ha have to reconsider, replanning, and redesign based on the OTL. That's why. That's what we have learned and what we have made the decision. So um, we have done the based on the pri pre previous work we have do the Java instrumentation. So we rebuilt our Java instrumentation using OTL. We built the Java distribution and we added the for ad newly added the languages. We directly uh, use the uh, language or OTL. In upstream in implementation, for example, Python, and we also build some compiling time instrumentation in Golan. And um, we, the important thing here is we keep very closely with the community so that our uh, extensions, our modifications can be easily uh, um, up updated with the latest change so we can be easily uh, extended. And uh, at Another thing, very important thing here, is that the users can choose whether using our uh, distribution or you can use the official OTL instrumentation, whether it's uh, Node.js or PHP or using OTL collectors to, to send the metrics data to the services. Uh, next, uh, I will introduce several uh, things we have done in the OTL Java distributions. So in 2023, we started to migrate from the pinpoint instrumentation to the OTL instrumentation. And another uh, one important thing here is uh, for the applications in, in our cu customers, we have one Java agent called one Java agent, a concept called one Java agent, because the Java agent for the application, it will not only used by observability purpose, but also it can be used for the like uh, things like uh, microservice governance or application securities. We can do uh, canary release, rate limiting, or we can do the uh, application security things to like attack defendants. So we completely rewrite all the things we've done before and we rebuild it based on OTL implementations. And this is quite a lot of work for us to do. We have taken about one, about one year to completely rewrite these things. And I, I will only cover the observability enhancement today. And for the trace and metrics, we added the support for the popular frameworks in China, including Apache Shenyu, uh, MyBadis, and Excel Job. These are very important uh, frameworks for China. And, we all, and six of them has been contributed back to the community. But there's a lot of more uh, we are on the way to go. And we also add some extra me metrics, including the messaging, that database, RPC, or scheduled task. Since the metric specification is not very stable yet for the hotel, we are going to uh, contribute this to improve the semantic conventions. For the sampling strategy, we also add some, extend some uh, strategies like errors, rows, exception sampling, or adaptive samplings. For the profiling signals, we add the CPU memory profiling so that the profiling data can be created to the trace IDs. Or, uh, and also, we integrated a popular uh, online diagnostics tools called RSAS uh, in the agent. For the stability, stability we add the self observability and dynamic con configuration as well as the resource consumption limit to the agent. So after migrating to OTEL, we have observed the significant improvement of performance. And the agent startup time has been decreased 30%, and the memory consumption, the agent packet size, and the number of threads can be dr uh, reduced dramatically. And we all know that in cloud native year, the Golan application has become one more popular. So for the uh, existing OTL approach, there's some limitations. Uh, so we, built, we developed uh, our compile time instrumentation for Golan based on uh, our technique. And this, this picture shows, this is a, in the compile time, how we do the instrumentations. Uh, for the for the Go for Golan applications, it will go through several phases when they build a from the source code to a binary. So in our work, um, 
uh, works at the end of the compile front phase is first we will find some instrumentation entries according to a given rules, and then it will inject the logic, including tra uh, tracing metrics or span context propagations. So this approach will uh, is not require any user code modification f from user site. Uh, it also support async context propagations, even when user do not uh, do not pass the context object properly. We will do it automatically for the for you. And uh, another important thing here is it is compatible with the OTL SDK. So any manual instrumentations from OTL SDK can be uh, mer merged in the uh, final traces, and it will also be helpful for users to migrate from a manual instrumentation to the auto instrumentations. So this is the, uh, oh, this project has been open sourced and uh, we're working on the first release of that and there's an uh, ongoing donation proposal uh, to that and if you are very, if you are interested please come over and um, check it out. And we are, currently there's a existing compile time instrumentation work called InstaGen uh, in OTL communities and we are seeking convergence between our approach and the InstaGen. Uh, for the last two years, the uh, a large language module has been evolved very fast, and um, applications that interact with the LLM should be uh, very carefully observed because we would like to know how they uh, communicate with the LLM, and we want to make sure that they are working as best, and no, there's no hallucinations or uh, any wrong input. output. So, uh, we decide to not write it, write it by ourselves. We just uh, build upon the open, uh, open, open telemetry Python agent. So we add the instrumentations to the popular frameworks, called, uh, for example, Llama Index, Langchain, and uh, uh, impo more importantly, the Queen 2. Of Alibaba Cloud, so we add this support for the instrumentations. And um, the the important thing here is that we uh, there's an ongoing uh, semantic convention discussion in the OTL. So we keep very closely to the latest uh, semantic conventions to make sure we follow the latest uh, conventions. And we also add some fine names and metrics, uh, or and uh, we support some. Uh, customer attribute propagation like session IDs. So these session IDs can be propagated across different traces so that the user can analyze it, analyze it uh, when you have the different uh, multiple conversation, multiple traces, multiple conversations in one session. So with that, uh, users can get a very detailed detail view of the you, the way the application interacts with the LLM, whether it using any uh, re document it retrieved, or the chunking or ranking phase or uh, tools they used, and um, the input out of the uh, prompt, and also as the metric of for the token consumptions. They are have the enhanced observability for that. And uh, we're planning to contribute these instrumentations back to the community. For the profiling signals, we added uh, several uh, in-process uh, implementations in Java, Golang, and Python. And basically, they will um, inject uh, the native uh, data format, which for, for Java is like a uh, JFR. And uh, we also support the uh, ingest uh, some third-party uh, profiling format called Pyroscope or uh, PProf. But uh, actually, there is a, just as Zikao mentioned, the, the, com the community has just published the first uh, profiling data format. So we're working on um, supporting this uh, pr profiling data format. And this uh, profiling, yeah, this, is, uh, this works in a very low overhead mode. And uh, apart, apart from the uh, OTL distribution for different languages, we also work very closely with our native uh, cloud services to make sure that these services are, are natively supported in the open telemetries because we would like to provide the users an end-to-end -end tracing experience with OTL. Uh, so user can use the starting from the mobile client, like including, uh, including mobile app or mini app or website. They can inject a, um, 
open telemetry uh, W33 per, uh, tracing protocol, and uh, the request can be go through all the way through like load balancers in Alibaba Cloud. For example, load balancer A ALB, MSC ingress, AS service mesh, and engine ingress to the backend uh, applications with our instrumentations supported, and the back uh, backend service like a database, uh, Redis, or even AI models. So user can get the a completely end-to-end -end tracing experience. This is not finished yet. We are, we are working with all more uh, cloud products to that they are natively support the uh, open telemetry tracing protocol. And for the cloud service, the control flow, uh, we are all migrating from the previously instrumentation to the OTL instrumentations. This is uh, a lot of way to do. Uh, because uh, there's a key challenge here is that we would like we we have to support the the legacy tracing protocols. So we added extended OTL to support added support for the legacy tracing protocols. Uh, this is a uh, still a way to go, but uh, we will uh, do it in maybe in one or two years. Um, for the community engagement in the last uh, six months, I think. Uh, we are actually top one in the APAC area with a lot of uh, PR reviews or pull requests. And uh, this is uh, not as good as the many top contributing uh, companies. We, we think there's a lot of way, still a lot of work for us to do, but we are in in the direction to, a right, direct, right direction to contribute to the community. And we also help to set up the APAC friendly meetings, including Java SIG bi weekly meet community meeting and then the monthly tag of the really meeting. These, these meetings are used to be held in like 11 or 12 p.m. in the night. But right now we have the APAC friendly time for us to, to participate. Uh, maybe it's uh, 9 a.m. and it's very friendly for us. So if, if you anyone would like to join to this kind of meetings, please don't hesitate to, to, to participate. And we also have done, uh, there's some ongoing per, uh, effort to donate several of our implementations like uh, compile time instrumentation and, and the Gravium support for the Java agent. We also participate in several uh, community events like uh, Hotel Community Days, North America, and uh, there's a lot of work for us to do and we, we think that uh, keeping uh, communication with the uh, keeping very close communication with the upstream is very important. So we we will um, try our best to do that, and we will continue to do that. So that's all for today's sh uh, share. So thanks for listening. Yes. Uh, so we are happy to take uh, questions. Uh, mics or uh, sure. okay <laughs> Yeah, actually, we have our own implementation for com continuous programming, especially in Java. We have uh, implemented two approaches, including the uh, JFR profiling and uh, as well as the async profiler. Uh, there, there's two kind of form, but uh, as the with the standard profiling data performance has been established, we are going to. Uh, so working on to support it, we would like to provide a transition layer so that we can convert the existing data format to the latest uh, uh, providing data format. That's what we, we are doing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry. Uh, 
Uh, actually, it's not yet. Uh, we uh, we just uh, published uh, our um, open source the, this project uh, in this month, and we pl was planning to talk to the to the community. But uh, unfortunately, for some technical issues, that meeting has not been <laughs> held. And that so we we are we, we are reconsidering another time to to get to meet with the community to talk to discuss uh, this these things so it's not decided yet okay so okay yeah, this, please me okay uh, thank you uh, I would like uh, to ask you uh, that how we manage the large scale of hotel chores large uh, I mean like uh, we have like uh, one hundred open telemetry collectors. How we can manage in the large fleets with, with, with using this? So your question was ma how to manage the large amount of hotel collectors in a cluster. Yes. Yeah. We do not uh, actually we do not manage the hotel collectors f because the hotel collector normally they are deployed in the user's uh, Kubernetes environment, and for as a cloud provider, we encourage users to. Uh, send the data directly to their to their the process, whether it's a Java instrumentation or GoLang instrumentation or Python, directly to our services. So uh, we are not going to provide the support for the hotel. So user will uh, deploy or user can manage the hotel collector by themselves. They can do anything to trans tra do any transition or transfer data, or th then they will send to the the cloud service. So actually managing the hotel collectors is, is going to take uh, some effort, I think. So um, it's not um, easy for us to, for the, as a cloud provider's view, to, to provide support for that. So this is how we suggestion is to, our suggestion is to just send the data to manage that directly to the service and you manage the hotel collector if you want. Okay. okay, thank you. So, please. Uh, about the uh, uh, IIMM uh, application uh, observability, there are several uh, SDKs out there. Uh, for example, uh, Lansmith has its own Python SDK, and there are some other SDKs less open light. So is there any effort to standardize these SDKs uh, in open telemetry uh, community uh, to provide a standard interface and a standard uh, implementation for uh, AI applications? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And uh, actually, uh, we are have very com close communication in a Slack channel, and then there is a working group called LM Convention Working Group. So I think the community from the community the the first the important thing is here is to we for we finalize our specification. How, how what 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 data we should collect and what what is the name and how, how the format is. And then we will start to consider to have provide the implementation for that. But Actually, it will take a lot of a bit of a time for for the com there, there are a lot of uh, companies we, we will have a biweekly meetings to discuss it, and actually the implementations right now there's a lot of implementations, but I think uh, some of the the implementations are we're working very closely with the community like uh, Open Metry and Open Lit, and maybe there's a couple of another projects. So I think that that, w that should be done, but. I'm, I'm not sure how long will it take. So actually, we have, have our own implementations right now, but we make sure that this implementation has followed the latest uh, specifications. So once there is a, a specific is stable, we, we would like to contribute some of our implementations back. back. Yeah. Thank okay. Thanks. So thanks, thanks to you, thank, thank you, thank you for listening. Yeah.